Hello, guys. Hey. Um, just real quick for my question. The night before I saw the, the announcement for this event on Twitter, I had a dream. I met both of you in person at the same place. Whoa. I wake up All right, God exists. Yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and you're wearing the Rubin Report classical Indeed. liberal t-shirt. This yeah. is deep. This yes. is deep. So wow. I, drove, I drove five hours to ask Dr. Brooke this question. Whoa. Um, my, my wife and I are about to have our, our first child. And we, oh, no. Thank you. Um, All right. Don't you know that if you follow Ayn Rand's ideas, you're not allowed to have children? Oh, really? <laughs> kidding, kidding. Those of you on, on video. Oh, God, yes, yes. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah. And so one thing that's very important to my wife and I, obviously we're both atheists and, and thoroughly secular, we want to teach our son virtues. Yes. So within the objectivist worldview, within the intellectual dark web space, um, how do you see the next generation teaching virtues to the next generation that comes after us. Can well, I take a 10 second stab no, first absolutely. and then we'll throw it to you? Absolutely. I think it's this, I truly think it's this. It's that I've seen and everywhere that I go and I keep meeting you guys and talking to you guys and that there is literally this rebirth of people that care about ideas and it just doesn't matter. Even if your answer a moment ago didn't fully suffice to the, to the person who asked, Somebody's gonna, somebody in here is gonna go, ah, that kind of worked for me, that kind of worked for me, and that's what we just have to keep fostering. And well, and, 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 and you can go do the research and figure out if I was right or wrong, or whether the history lines up with the way I presented it. They, not, nothing I said is not testable. You should be able to go out there and figure it out. Um, I mean, look, objectivism has a clear set of values and virtues, um, and, and the strategies on how to communicate that and how to, how to get your child consistent with that you know, are going to change when they're, from when they're very small to, to when they're a teenager and the strategy is going to be different. But, but, you know, the fundamental, I mean, if you had to boil down to Ayn Rand's morality to one word, right, it would be think, right? So if you're going to teach your kid one virtue, it's to think. It's to, it's to use your mind. It's to, you, and then everything else falls from that. Why shouldn't you lie? Because lie is falsification of reality, and thinking depends on facts from reality. Why should you treat people with justice? Because that's the rational thing to do. You want to treat them the way they deserve to be treated. That's what justice means, right? And every one of the other virtues is just an extension of that one virtue, which is thinking. So what you want, and you don't want to, but you don't want to teach them as dogma, right? <laughs> that would be, you want to teach them a value of thinking that at the end of the day, the way we as human beings survive, the way in which we thrive, the way in which we engage with ideas it's, it, it, and engage with the world is through our mind, it's through our reason. And if you can teach that, then the other virtues will fall into place, everything else. And then the other one that I think is really important is to teach them to be proud. So don't, the reverse is don't teach guilt, right? Teach them when they achieve something, you know, as parents who say, I'm really proud of you. Well, how about saying, you should be really proud of yourself? Because that's what's important. It's not what's important, what I think of what you're doing. You should. So it's, it's little things like that. On the playground, I mean, this is the joke I always make, but on the playground, don't teach them to share, teach them to trade. <laughs> And they'll learn a life skill and, you know, and you, you're pursuing those virtues exactly.